Hello there. My name is Mr. Carl. I'm the children's librarian at the Van Buren Library, and I'm very excited to read this story with you today. This is called Walk on the Wild Side by Nicholas Oldland. And it looks like we have three animals on the cover who we are going to be walking with today. We got this guy, he's a beaver. We got a black bear and we got a moose. And uh, let's find out what they're all doing together and, and where they're gonna go. There once was a bear, a moose and a beaver who loved adventure, but sometimes their competitive nature got in the way of having fun. And I know we probably all have friends, right? Who we get a little too competitive with. Let's see uh, how that plays out with these guys. One sunny morning, the bear, the moose, and the beaver decided it was a great day to climb a mountain. That was them looking up at that mountain. And uh, let's see if they make it to the top. I, I don't know if I, I think they can. To get to the mountain, they descended into a valley, walked through a grassy field, and the bear said, are we there yet? They waded through a stream and crossed a deep canyon. And the beaver said, don't look down, don't look down. And at the foot of the mountain, they stopped for a snack. Between mouthfuls, the bear, the moose, and the beaver discussed ways to make their hike more interesting. Now, I already think hikes are pretty interesting and climbing to a, up a mountain, certainly an interesting thing to do. So what, what could they possibly come up with that could make their hike more interesting? Hmm, let's see. The beaver thought the best way to add some excitement was to make it a race. And this is where they start getting competitive with each other. And if you're climbing up a mountain, I don't know if racing to the top is going to make it more fun. I know I like to stop and enjoy the scenery and chat with my friends when I go up mountains. All right, so here's Moose, he's getting ready to run. And as soon as they finished their last bites, the three friends were off and running and the race was on. So if I had to bet, I would bet that Beaver is going to win because he's, he's the smallest and he's probably the quickest. But uh, let's see. Thanks to his long legs, the moose took an early lead, but the beaver and the bear followed right on his tail. We can see the moose is right out in front down here. And beaver and bear are right behind. Here they are. It looks like they're climbing over a log and then they're going up a rocky side of the mountain. And does Moose see something here? Then just as the Moose rounded a bend in the mountain path, a boulder came tumbling down toward him. Fortunately, the Moose jumped out of harm's way just in time. Whew, that looks like a, uh, a close call. Like that boulder really could have hurt him if he didn't move out of the way quickly enough. But unfortunately, he jumped over the side of the mountain. Ah! So let's get this straight. He jumped out of the way to avoid getting hit by a boulder, but he jumped so far that he jumped off the mountain. <laughs> it seems like he's getting into all kinds of accidents that are, are, are just kind of silly. When the beaver rounded the bend, the moose was out of sight. Worried that he had fallen behind, the beaver picked up his pace. So the beaver thinks the moose is so far ahead, but we know that the moose actually jumped off the cliff. When the bear came running by, he heard the moose's cry for help. Help! Help me! The bear followed the sound to the mountain's edge, where he saw the moose dangling from a tree. Help, help. Fearlessly, the bear attempted a daring rescue. 
Sadly, he failed. Whoops. All right. So now we're in a real disaster. Bear tried to rescue the moose, and they both, he fell off too. But I think Beaver is probably so far ahead because he wants to win the race. He wants to get to the top of the mountain. You can't blame him. Here's the moose dangling. And thanks to the moose's quick reflexes, the bear's life was saved. Thanks, said the bear. But now they were both hanging on for their lives. Help, 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 help. The moose and the bear's cries for help echoed up the mountain. The beaver followed their calls back down the path. Look at the beaver. He's just like, oh my God, what do I do? How, how do I help these two animals? They're so much bigger than me. The beaver's instincts kicked in. He cued down a tree and he carved out a few notches with his teeth. And he lowered the simple ladder to the moose and the bear so they could climb up. That's really clever, because I don't think he was strong enough to, to pull the moose and the bear up himself. But he's got these. He's got the advantage with his teeth. And they all look pretty relieved that they're not hanging from that tree anymore. Back on solid ground, the three friends realized their hike had become a little too exciting. They were going to make it to the top of the mountain. A slower pace might be better. And that's when their hike became truly interesting. They explored a dark cave. And it looks like they're all pointing at each other. You go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. And they discovered a prehistoric fossil. That's pretty cool. And they helped one another along the way. At the end of the day, the bear, the moose, and the beaver agreed that reaching the top of the mountain was great, but enjoying the journey together was even better. Okay, and here's just a little bit about the artist and writer. Nicholas Oldman enjoyed success as a commercial artist before taking up the role of creative director at Hately, a popular apparel company where he runs with his brothers. Walk on the Wild Side is the latest adventure for Nicholas's characters, the bear, the moose, and the beaver. All right. And let's say bye to our friends. And I'm really glad they made it to the top. And I think what we learned is they didn't really have to race each other. That seems to have made things more dangerous. And actually being together and helping each other get to the top along the way, that's what made the trip enjoyable. It wasn't seeing who could get there first. And, you know, if they were so competitive, they might not have even helped each other out at all. Beaver Medic has been like, all right, see you guys later. I'm going to the top. But we know that uh, Moose and Bear, they really needed his help. And luckily, he, he came back and helped them. So uh, thank you for listening to my story today. And I will see you again real soon. Be safe, be healthy, be well.